Hello students. Today we are going to start a new chapter, Structure of Matter. In this chapter, we will study about the elements, compounds, mixtures, and the names of the molecules, symbols, formulas, and about chemical equation and how to balance the chemical equation. So let's start with an example. Take a piece of iron and we know iron is made up of matter. If we cut this piece of iron into pieces, what happens? It forms smaller pieces of iron. And if we continue breaking this piece of iron, it forms still smaller and smaller pieces. However, this must end somewhere. It should be possible to get the smallest piece of iron that can't be broken any further. And that's the theory given by the John Dalton, the scientist of the 19th century. He named this smallest piece which can't further be broken is as iron atom. Similarly, the smallest piece of gold is a gold atom. So, atoms are so small that they can't be seen even by the most powerful microscope. Approximately, we have to take the 4 million gold atoms placed end to end form a line of only 1 millimeter length and that can be seen under the microscope. So, the smallest particle of gold and iron are gold atom and iron atom respectively. But the smallest particle of water is not a water atom. Why? Because water is made up of two different kinds of atoms. Oxygen atom and hydrogen atom. And the smallest particle of water contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. These form one molecule of water. So the substance made up of only one kind of atoms, they are known as the elements. And the substance is made up of only one kind of atom that cannot be broken <coughs> down into simpler substances by chemical method is an element. The smallest particle of an element is an atom. We know there are about 118 different elements and of, of these 92 elements occur naturally on the earth. The other have been made by the scientist. Water is made up of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. It is a compound, a substance formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements in a fixed proportion is known as compound. And the smallest particle of a compound is called a molecule. We know millions of different kinds of molecules can be made from only about 118 different kinds of atoms. That's why we see millions of compounds all around us. Water, sugar, chalk, vinegar and salt. These are all our compound. Many elements have a great tendency to combine with each other to form compounds. These elements are therefore not found in the free state in nature. They only occur in combined form as compounds. Very few elements occur in the free state in nature like oxygen, nitrogen, gold. And most of the pure elements are obtained by breaking up a compound into its constituents atoms. Compound can be broken down into its elements by chemical method. For example, each water molecule is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen and water can be broken down into the elements hydrogen and oxygen. And the compound always contains the same element combined together chemically in a fixed ratio. If we have to make the water, it, it will always contain hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio 2 ratio 1 means two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen. 
द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कंपाउंड आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दोज ऑफ इट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट्स एलिमेंट्स लाइक वाटर हैज द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज फ्रॉम हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम विच इट इज मेड अप ऑफ वेन टू और मोर एलिमेंट्स और कंपाउंड आर मिक्स टूगेदर एंड देयर इज नो केमिकल चेंज बिटवीन दैम वी गेट अ मिक्सचर ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स इन अ मिक्सचर नो न्यू मॉलिक्यूल्स आर फॉर्म्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम कंपाउंड मे हैव टू वी हीटेड टूगेदर टू मेक दैम रिएक्ट अदर्स दे मे हैव टू डिजोल्व इन वॉटर बिफोर दे कैन रिएक्ट A mixture can be made by mixing together two or more elements or compounds in any ratio, and a compound is always made up of elements combined in a certain fixed ratio that always remain the same. Here we will take the mixture. Ah, uh, we will take the powder of iron and some powder form of sulfur, and we will mix it. now we bring the magnet near them you will find that the powdered iron in the mixture is attracted by the magnet the magnet can be used to completely separate the iron and sulfur but when we heat this mixture and after some time the mixture will begin to glow and give off heat a black substance known as iron sulfide is formed the particles of iron and sulfur can't be seen separately now and now if we bring magnet near to it the iron will not separated because it it to makes a make a new com mixture it make a new compound by heating so one molecule of iron sulfide <laughs> contain one atom of iron and one atom of sulfur we know that there are 118 elements and millions of compounds the elements and compounds react with each other in number of ways and writing the full names of elements and compounds and describing their re reactions is very inconvenient and very difficult it is more convenient to use abbreviations or symbols so we use the symbols to represent the elements a compound is represented by a formula which contains symbols of all the elements present in a molecule in the early days the scientist and alchemist chemist used picture symbols to represent the elements like hydrogen a circle with the dot and oxygen a hollow circle or hollow sphere but as the number of known elements and compounds increases this method too became very tedious so the changes uh, were bring to this uh, this system and the present system uses letter of english alphabet to represents the elements it was first suggested by the bergelius the system is the elements are represented by using the first letter in capital of the name of the element for example c for carbon capital n for nitrogen and capital o for oxygen capital h for hydrogen capital i for iodine a name of some elements have the same initial letter for example carbon calcium and cobalt in such cases the first letter is taken in capital together with the letter from its name for example for calcium its capital c and small a for cobalt capital c small o for aluminum capital a small l and b r for bromine the symbols of some elements are derived from their latin names for example the latin name of copper is cuprum and its symbol is cu capital c small u like this all the symbols are given to the elements